Hello guys, Zuljin here and welcome to Hurt World, a multiplayer hardcore FPS survival sandbox. <laughs> I know that's a lot of adjectives. I was lucky enough to get a key from the folks over at Bankroll Studios, so I really, really appreciate it to him. Shout out to them. Any information that you want to find out about this game is going to be available on their Steam Greenlit page. That's going to be a link in the description below. Guys, this is a very, very early pre-alpha a pre-closed alpha actually so you're not going to have access to this game yet um all the information like i said is going to be in the links below but i wanted to show you guys i wanted to cover it a little bit and show y'all a little bit it's very very early development so uh anything that you see here may change throughout the course of its development process um it reminds me a lot of rust actually and it's been a while since i played rust rust has evolved quite a bit since its beginning and i felt like i should show you guys since i do keep up with this a lot of a lot of survival titles I figured that it would be good. Speaking of survival, you got to know when I logged in, it was dark. And I have played around a little bit with the game. Uh, you're not missing much just by seeing this far. I'm going to show you how I made it and what I needed to craft it and all this other stuff. But uh, it's turning day soon. And now that it's uh, it's going to start warming up, I suppose I could leave a little bit. So let's see. Do it, Can I open my campfire? Yeah. I'm going to take everything that I've found so far and, uh, and, and go about. So I'll just act like I don't have any resources yet. Let me go ahead and stop crouching. I don't need to. So this is a third or first person I can toggle that with F2 and I like the third person mode because it adds a little bit of flair it's a little bit different than just seeing the scenery which right now is very basic but it's it's kind of cool looking like I'm not used to seeing desert type survival games oop and there's there is going to be a little bit of um of, of FPS glitches sometimes because my recording software does not pick it up in game capture so I'm having to use monitor capture so sometimes it gets real framey when I uh, when I take a sharp turn uh, and when the terrain generates which is pretty common to alphas like the engine isn't perfect but the UI is really not glitchy so that's a good thing uh, I do love the particle effects of the dust and stuff that's that's coming at me and it looks like the wildlife uh, is um, is a little glitchy as well but what I can see here is, man, it looks like I would really love to build a base around here. Like most of the, the the stuff is the same from what I've seen. I haven't explored hardly any of the map, but what I need to do right now, I guess, is look for some basic materials. So I could hold shift to run, which doesn't really seem to improve my speed. Um, there's no encumbrance or stamina from what I see so far too, so I could collect the resources as I see fit. And uh, when I find a nice place to settle down, I guess I could build a base and kind of start doing that. There's supposed to be vehicles in this game and stuff too, uh, which is kind of neat. I haven't uh, I, I haven't played a game yet that I don't enjoy getting a nice vehicle to run around with, especially if I'm if I'm relatively slow. These rabbits I really can't catch right now. I tried earlier, but I need to get some stone and some wood so I can start getting some basic tools, and I probably have enough of it now. It's pretty simple. You can go up to things and just press E on the ground. It tells you that you can interact with them, and uh, once you pick some something up you can access the crafting menu using tab uh, when you go to handcraft you can see that there's different categories so tools for instance I can make a workbench from here I can also make a campfire arrows torch or flint hatchet let's go ahead and go with the flint hatchet for now uh, the crafting sound is a little bit loud for now, but that should be okay. Uh, also, eventually, I'm going to need to get a workbench together, but I'm going to need to gather a little bit more wood for that. With an axe, I believe that we can harvest trees, but I'm not too sure how yet. Let's go up to this and tag it a couple times. So it doesn't look like... Like, there is, it is taking some damage, and I can see that I just gained some wood logs. There's a little notification in the right side. Now, unlike harvesting from the ground where it says press E to interact, you won't know if there's a tree that you can actually chop on uh, with a HUD display like that because, well, you really don't know. So there's no tool tips on that yet. Um, but all the stuff that you can get on the ground can start you off with the basics, so... Uh, also, these structures, you can't do anything with these yet. Uh, the rocks that you can craft or that you can that you can harvest, I mean, are actually uh, a little bit. They look more like a resource node than anything else if you've played most basic survival games first. So what we should probably do now with a little bit of wood and stone that we got is try to create a workbench. Uh, we're going to start preparing for night, so I'd like to go in an area with a few more resources that are present 
I do see plenty of these, but I would like to be able to see a few of the um, the resource nodes that you can that you can harvest for minerals like iron and stuff like that. As soon as I chop down this tree, I'll be on my way. That should give me quite a bit of wood, I think. But this is a hard tree to chop down, man. Okay, finally. That was 14 wooden logs. That's why it took a little long. Okay. And it looks like somebody has already built a base up there. Uh-oh, it's time to eat. Okay. So we really need to get hunting online. Um, I wonder if I can harvest any bushes. Did I get anything from that? No, it looks like I'm hitting the ground, actually. Can I harvest with the E key? No. So I was hoping that I can harvest a little bit with uh, the E key. Let me make sure I don't have to just have an empty hand or something like that. No, typically it would give me a, a heads up display like a tool tip if I could do that. Okay, there's a little bit of resources in this area. Enough of me to set down a crafting bench and a fire um, if it turns night. Okay, so let's go up here. Right next to these few resources that are lying down, and I think I'm going to take my camp here. So, let's go to the crafting menu, handcraft, and we're going to go to workbench. Workbench requires 20 wood. Let's go ahead and handcraft that. And once we get the workbench up, which you can see the progress meter is a little bit like rust. So, you'll see some similarities on that. It's basically kind of like the same engine. I'm not sure if they use the same engine, but um, it's the same concept. So if you've ever played Rust or a game like that, uh, H1Z1, I believe, is kind of the same way. But I haven't I haven't personally played H1Z1. Okay, so now that we got the workbench, we can place that. Uh, you do hold the hammer when you, can, when you can put stuff down like this. So let's go ahead and place that. And we can access it by pressing E, and you'll see that we have a variety of stuff that we can craft. So you can click on each category and it gives you the ability to craft whatever's underneath. You don't need to learn recipes or blueprints or ingrams or anything like that. You basically just know all the recipes. You just need the crafting materials in place. So I don't know if there's any blueprints or if that's even a thing that's coming. But uh, so the thing, I think the first thing that we want is going to get a bow. So let's go into weapons and it looks like we can create a bow using string and wood. Now, if we go in the materials, you'll see that there is weak string, weak string. You can make it from either animal bones or it looks like bark, tree bark. So we, yeah, tree bark. So we don't have any of that yet. What I think I should do is probably harvest a little bit of the resources in the area like this and hope that I get a little bit of tree bark. So let's see if we get any from this. Okay, no, we only got wooden logs from that. The amount of resources doesn't seem to have anything to do with the time it takes to harvest it. Wood logs. Oh, I just hit the ground like a crazy man. All right, you can see a little bit of am. Uh, okay, I got five tree bark. That's enough for string. That's good. I don't need know if I'll need any of that for arrows. Uh, but first comes first and we're going to need a boat we're also going to and there's a rabbit right there so if we could get a bow and arrows we might be able to kill him and cook him we're going to need a fire pretty soon too i think i'm going to stretch it a little bit longer by trying to do that so okay let's craft this we'll have to put this in the crafting grid for the materials and go ahead and hit craft now that we got five string well we got plenty of string actually okay uh actually let's keep it right there and go back to weapons and we'll put wood in here as well and craft the bow very very good okay so now we have a bow which i feel better about uh let's see ammo we'll need flint and wood which we have some flint let's go ahead and create some arrows okay all we have is 10 right now which is not terrible let's go ahead and put this in our inventory and we are going to need um, a fire really really soon I do have my gamma cranked up by the way so you guys should be able to see a little bit better than I can in game but it is very 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 dark uh, as long as it doesn't get cold I should be okay um, it would be cool if I saw that rabbit again I don't even know how the bow works I suppose it's hold right click to draw and left click to shoot I would be what I would imagine oh that kind of freaked me out I saw my shadow there for a minute Okay, now where was that rabbit that I saw? Oh, it looks like somebody disconnected from the server. So, by the way, 
Like I said before, it's multiplayer. This is an open world server. There's not that many people on because it's closed alpha access. But there were two, three people logged onto the server earlier. They hadn't said anything, but you can see uh, when you go to join a server that um, that their names are. Uh, well, it does say there's you know people connected. There's no names or anything, but it does have like two out of the sixty slots uh, filled, for instance. So, oh, there's the rabbit. Oh man, they move so fast. I need to eat. Wow. <laughs> Did you see that arrow? I like that effect. That was pretty cool. Okay, we got nine arrows left. Man, it's going to be something to hunt. Okay. It's getting cold. So, I got to watch my cold meter. When I get too cold, I'm going to have to um I'm going to have to go somewhere. Is there Oh man. He was too close. Okay, so you can just un <laughs> stop holding right click all right ah okay there's a little bit of drop off in the arrows too where you at where'd he go I need you for dinner I would like Hassenpfeffer for dinner bring me Hassenpfeffer okay I don't know where he went I don't want to lose my little fire either so now I'm feeling real cold. I don't think I start taking damage until my cold meter goes all the way up. So I do have a little bit. I'm still very hungry too. Okay. These rabbits disappear like I don't know what. Oh, wow. My aim is terrible. <laughs> oh, there's a fire too. Okay. How about this? Oh, wait. Oh, I can't believe I missed him. Okay, I'm going to have to get used to where this cursor's at. Uh, okay, that's a workbench. I was hoping that that was a fire pit. No worries. I can make one if I have to. It doesn't cost that much. Uh, okay, rabbits. Close, close, close. Did I get him? No, I didn't get him. I'm a terrible shot. I'm a waste of space. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> I suppose, man, it's getting to the point that I'm going to need fire really, really, really soon. I took all my possessions with me, so I suppose it doesn't matter which fire pit, I mean, which workbench I use, because I saw a workbench out here. And I should be able to, actually, I might just be able to make a campfire without a workbench, but it would be nice to be able to have a workbench near Oh, I hit him, I hit him, I hit him, I hit him. What? Owned. Okay. What did I get? Animal tendons? Animal leather. Okay, can I do anything with the tendons? I need to eat, man. I need to eat. For real. Um. Man, it's the desert. I mean, food is supposed to be hard to get. Oh. I didn't mean to do that. Only two arrows left. At least it only takes one to score a kill. All right. We're close enough on the uh, the cold thing, guys. We're going to have to do a fire like right now. At least to warm us up some. So let's go to handcraft, campfire. What are we going to need? It looks like we're going to need five stone and 20 wood. Now, I don't have... Oh, no. Five flint and 20 wood. Now, I don't have any flint from what I can see. Do you, can you harvest these things? Uh, it does not appear so. Hmm. All right. This is not good. The cold is coming close. It's like a couple more people connected. Is that flint? That's stone and flint. I think I need a couple more pieces here. Oh, I gotta try to hit this thing. Oh, got him, got him, got him. Got him. Come on, please be some food. This would be so good if you were food. Picked up leather. Raw steak, baby! 
<laughs> oh yeah we gonna have a cookout we gonna <laughs> all right i got my flint let's make a fire quick i wish i could do it right by the bench but it doesn't appear that i'm gonna be able to i'm gonna start taking damage soon i think where is that workbench ah uh, oh there it is there it is there it is okay oh yeah i'm 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 starting to take damage now uh handcraft campfire craft it insufficient resources why I'm so hungry oh only have four you gotta be kidding dude oh man no 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 we gotta hurry we have to hurry oh man oh but the daytime is coming too oh please I am freezing to death please sunshine please sunshine show me mercy we're still going to need a fire as soon as we find another rock because we need to cook stuff. Is that is that it? Did I get... Oh, no, that's food. Hold on. Let's eat this. Um. All right, I still need a rock. Please, rock. Please, please. <gasps> There's a fire right there. I don't need a rock. I'm saved. Oh my gosh, I'm in pain. Uh, open campfire. Put wood in light. Insufficient. Insufficient fuel? What do you mean? It's... It's... Oh, I cannot believe. Are you serious? Fuel, man. Light. Insufficient fuel. Okay. there. That may or may not be a bug. It looks like I'm I'm hurting really really bad here, you guys. Hurting really really bad. Why could not not use that? If I could just find one rock. My cold is almost gone, but I don't think it'll last. Two seconds, one second. Okay, I'm not cold anymore. Am I healing? Oh, very slowly, I think. Gosh, the rocks are so scarce. And look, there's the rock right there. Pick up flint. That's exactly what we needed. Okay, let's get our hunger under control. Hunger under control. I feel like that's the next step because we avoided death. Did I just leave all that? Oh, no, I didn't leave all of the, uh, the wood there. Okay, good. All right, let's do... I would say... We need to find that workbench again, but we got enough wood to make it again, I think. All right, let's set up camp right here again. I keep getting lost, but I was desperate, you guys. I was running around, and that is a weird-looking base. But I'm, <laughs> but it's cool. It's a, it's a good place to stop anyway. All right, so handcraft. Let's go with campfire. Okay, this hopefully will work out well. Okay, so I got the campfire in my inventory. Let's go ahead and set it down. Okay. Now we can open it. Add wood to it. Can we... Oh, no. Not handcraft. Can we light? Okay. Uh, all right. The, the cold is going away rapidly. That's good. Now, can we cook steak in it? Will this turn into raw steak? Okay. Cook under medium heat for 20 seconds goes off in 20 minutes raw steak plus five nutrition freezes when it hits 120 degrees when refrigerated below 10 aha we got cooked steak okay so that's pretty straightforward right oh yeah baby <laughs> all right now what was that other stuff in my inventory this is oh wrong seeds common crop Placeable item. Okay, how do we place Orong seeds? Ah, see. Okay, so you can place it and it grows a plant. Very good. Let's look into some of the other recipes. Let's get a... Oh, man, my color is returning. <laughs> uh, let's see. Can I... I think I'm going to do a crafting bench here and see if I can get a resource uh, started. Oh, actually, let's see now. Now that my cold is going away, I'm going to go ahead and extinguish this and take my items back. And let's make 
a workbench and we'll set that down. It takes quite a while to make a workbench and it takes 20 wood, but that's not too bad. Um, I wonder if the torch would help us. I know it would help light the way. We'll probably use that next time for sure. Uh, we got our flint hatchet. We have our bow. We're going to have to make some more arrows. So flint is going to be a definite priority. Uh, let's see. Okay. We got our little camp set up now. feel good about that. And let's see here. Stone pickaxe. So I need wood and stone, which I have both of. Let's set these in the crafting bench. What are these animal tendons good for? I don't know. Uh, but we'll find out sooner or later. Let's go ahead and craft one of these. And I have a feeling that this will help me get flint. At least I'm hoping so. I'm always going to take my stuff with me for the for the time being right away because I'm completely lost. Uh, let's see here. So, ammo, arrows, uh, bullets. Aha, uh -huh, there's different types of things. How about vehicles? Oh, I need 20 amber and, wow, shaped titanium for a goat builder <laughs> i don't know what that is it looks kind of like an atv i don't know it should be pretty cool let's try out this this uh this pick so can we mine this stuff and what do we get stone and flint we are saved we'll be able to craft bows and arrows and stuff let's do handcraft arrows craft oh yeah baby Nice. Okay, we're going to need a bunch more flint to be able to do that. But at least now we can hunt for food. So that's awesome, guys. Well, I hope you all enjoyed this first little episode of the mini series of Hurt World. Remember, if you do like the video, don't forget to give me some dap on that like button to show you support for the series. And you can also subscribe to the channel for more daily content. Thanks so much for watching, guys. As always, this is Uljin signing off, and we'll see you next time.